Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player, played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. So finally, it's time for us to check the newest Archer uh, Warpit as well. Whenever something new comes out in the game, I need some couple of times to understand, to have a uh, opinion about it and to tell you guys what would be the appropriate way of building it or trying it out with itself right that's why i think it's a proper time for me to speak about shadow manticore which is the newest warpit uh which came out um, in the last patch which is a pretty interesting one uh because the two warpits which came out together one was um, archer which is shadow manticore and the uh, second one was the cavalry one which was blade manticore of course, my main interest in terms of the uh, newest warpits is Shadow Manticore because it's an archer one and as an archer of a two-play player, I always like to have many choices whenever I'm trying to fill up my legion uh, for the fight, right? So basically, for the from the first look, this looks like amazing PvP uh, warpit uh, with an interesting new skills uh, which is adding to the gameplay of Call of Dragons, right? Uh, first of all, we need to mention that there is a couple of important attributes which you guys need to follow. Of course, it will be better to have a legendary um, warped all the time and to have every single attribute on an S tier, but that generally doesn't really happen as much. That's why you always kind of have to choose between having good attributes or having more slots, right? That's why it is important to understand that knowing which uh attribute is the priority uh, always makes you choose the correct decision in a much better way right so in this case i think for shadow manticore the main um, attributes should be luck strength and agility right so, like it's pretty simple for almost every single archer warped these three are the main attributes right uh, the number one priority should be the luck, second one should be the agility, and the third one should be the strengths. So try to get legendary warped and try to have these three uh, attributes on a maximum tier so you will have higher benefits towards your skills, right? Because as you guys already know, the attribute numbers is applied to the skills, which that's how you are doing things with your warpits. So basically, warpits are actually helping you with fights, and it's not just an accessory, right? So as soon as we understood that which attributes are main ones, of course, it's time for us to speak uh, regarding the main skill of the Shadow Manticore, and in general, skills, right? The uh, barbarism, right? Deals damage to the target and receives healing, which is pretty basic skill. Uh, generally you expect from the main skill to be like kind of complicated stuff like giving up giving you some kind of buffs or debuffing enemy or like doing something extra right because that's uh, sometimes what's flashy is kind of good but in our case barbar is is pretty straightforward the attribute is luck you are just dealing damage and receiving healing right but what's the most interesting about this warpath is that the second skill which is Intern's Barbarism is, is kind of the same, just giving additional direct damage, but the most interesting skill about Shadow Manticore is, of course, Advanced Barbarism, right? Warpet has 80% chance to deal additional damage to the target when healed by a hero skill, which gives us this Warpet a totally different aspect, how you can generally go to use it, and I think in all of the other Warpets, the main skill is kind of uh the first skill like talent skills but for this shadow manticore i think the advanced bombard barbar is, is kind of what makes this warpit uh, stood out right this is the different thing which we have never seen in call of dragons in any other warpits so i'm um, i'm looking forward to trying it and i'm looking forward to test it how good it will be uh so well this is the first three uh, main skills which i think will be important for this warped to work right and i think uh, barbarism and advanced barbarism should be enough to have the full potential of the shadow manticore which means you don't even need to have intense barbarism because i think there will be a much better uh, skills to attach to shadow manticore right well the skills are pretty interesting um i think we have to kind of 
play around with the advanced barbarians, which makes this warpath even interesting. That's why I think we are going to try to build this warpath in a way that we are going to utilize the barbarism synergy as much as possible, which means that uh, right now I will try my best to explain what would be the appropriate way um, of building the Shadow Mantico, right? Which I think will be really important warpath in the future of Call of Dragons. And I will tell you guys how I'm going to build this warpath, which I hope soon I'm going to showcase the built version. Because right now, as you can see, finally I made one star barbarism, which is really, really important because, of course, I'm aiming to the two star. So basically, let's say at first we are having barbarism and we are having. Uh, intense barbarism and we are already seeing that we are using two luck attributes and this third one is already strength so which means uh we are playing as an archer right and the bar and the shadow manticore is kind of archer damage dealer warped which means uh chain strike synergy should be the important aspect of shadow manticore and i think this or this skill should be on every single shadow manticore which you are going to build right in terms of chain strike, I think I'm going to skip wild chain strike because I think it's not really necessary for us to put wild chain strike in this synergy simply by I'm having chain strike with advanced chain strike because advanced chain strike is giving us healing rate and I think shadow manticore is going to work really really well with healing right so I think let's skip um, wild uh, chain strike let's have chain strike one. Uh, like chain strike and the advanced chain strike which will be enough for us to utilize the normal attack damage which we are going to use in a future aspect of the video when i will be speaking regarding heroes which this warpit will be working right so uh, we are using one agility attribute with the chain strike and one and second agility um used by the advanced chain strike after that i think there is a one and obvious choice um, the fatal bite is like mainly the one of the best um, like in general damage dealer skills for the warpets uh, great damage which is pretty high 7.0 and as i have said before strength is one of the primary attributes for this warpet and i think this is going to work really really well right and in general i think the normal attack crit rate build with some healing will be really really good for this warped that's why i think it will be really important for us to get advanced barbarism in order for us to utilize every single step right so we have we have one more agility um, attribute which we can really uh, put in this warped and i think angry roar is always the amazing choice choice Crit rate, which gives us the chance to create more often, uh, which is 3.6%, 3, 3 uh, and it is determined by agility, which means if you are going to uh, listen to my advice and make uh, Shadow Manticore with priority of strengths, agility, and luck, I think you are going to be really, really happy at the end of the day, right? So the whole build is will going to look like this, like, for example, Barbarism. Let's use Interns Barbarism for now. Of course, uh, advanced barbarism is also really, really important. And after that, uh, chain strike. I'm, I'm going to go with the advanced chain strike, right? Uh, of course, uh, the fatal bite, which because that's just OP skill to use on almost every single physical damage dealer warped. And at the end, I'm going to put the angry roar, which is crit rate, and I think crit rate on normal attack. A warp it is going to work almost every single time, right? So this is how I'm going to build the Shadow Manticore in the future. Right now, what I have done is that, that I made Barbarism one star, and I'm looking forward to building it, right? And of course, as always, I'm going to speak what kind of hero pairs we are going to match uh, with this uh, warp it. And of course, there is one and most obvious choice which I think everybody's first uh, thought should be, which is Magroth and Zyder, right? Whenever we are speaking about archers so with the healing, with the normal attack damage, and in general damage dealer, one of the best uh, merit farmer hero pair in the, in the game currently is Magroth and Zyder, and I think this warpath is going to work wonders with this Magroth and Zyder build, right? Especially if you have guarded crossbow, I think you are going to have a lot of fun whenever you are going to try Shadow Manticore with Magroth and Zyda and Guarded Crossbow. Besides that, of course, I think every experienced Call of Dragons player would 
think about this hero pair when we are speaking about Shadow Manticore. But besides that, I think there is a couple of uh, ways how you can actually utilize the Shadow Manticore, uh, even without healing, right? Because healing is just an additional effect, which if you're going to utilize, you are going to have better effects. But still, I think you can even use the Shadow Manticore even without uh, healing, which means uh, Freygar, Syndrome and Freygar will be totally fine. But of course, Tier 1 uh, Warped for this hero pair will be uh, the Night Rock. But if you want to use Shadow Manticore, nothing bad will happen. You are still going to deal a lot of damage to your enemies, right? Even like simple hero pairs, even for beginners, whenever you are starting the game and you only have Gwenwin, for example, and you finally kind of unlocked the Nico and you are running Gwenwin with Nico, you can run Shadow Manticore with them. So the basically beauty of this warpet is that you can run with every single um, archer hero pair and it's it's going to work pretty fine, right? Of course, if you want to have best value out of that warpet, I think you are going to try to pick her with the Magroth and Zyda, but well, not every single player is going to have this hero pair, which means other hero pairs such as Sendron and Fregor, even Nico with Kinara, even with Gwenwin and Nico. Guys, it's just a preference which one you prefer, right? I prefer Snow Peak Rock on my Nico and Kinara. I, I prefer Night Rock um, on my Sendron and Fregor, but I kind of prefer Shadow Manticore on Agroth and Zyda. Um, well, I know Sand Lizard can work wonders with that hero pair, but still, I think. Shadow Manticore should be the another choice, at least for some kind of players who just prefers to play with the Manticore in the future, right? Of course, new additions to the game is always interesting. It's always fun to have something new in this game. And yeah, whenever something comes out, I always kind of take some time in order to uh, analyze what's new, how it affects the game, and how I can tell you guys in the most easiest way so you guys are going to understand everything, right? And as always... Um, if you guys understood something new regarding Shadow Manticore or in, in general Call of Dragons, press like, subscribe, share this video because it always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos about this game, right? I wish everybody amazing morning, night and day. We are going to see each other really soon. Bye bye and fuck.